Hello boys and girls, welcome back again to Kids House at Home. Don't you love our services together? I love our services. I love when we come together and just have church like this at Kids House at Home. And I'm really enjoying this series, Stepping Out in Faith. Are you stepping out in faith? Are you practicing? what you're learning? Are you stepping out to please God? Are you preparing for what God has in store for you? Are you judging God to be faithful? That was last week. Are you preparing for what God has in store for you? Are you reasoning in such a way that you're building your faith and not building your doubts? This is what it means to be stepping out in faith. And I am so blessed that we are doing this together. I tell you, the year 2021 will be awesome because we are stepping out in faith. Faith. Well, right now, Kevo and Miss Catherine have prepared a really special way to do a little bit of review. So here goes. Hi, Kevo. Hi. Today is just you and me. Yeah. yeah. Ashley has gone to Shax. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Hope she will be back soon. Yeah. So it's only you and I reviewing today, right? Yeah. Woohoo. And this is what we are going to do. Boys and girls, Kevo and I are going to make some statements and you match the lesson to what we say. Yahoo! And here's the first one. God has the map for your life. The Bible is the map for your life. Which lesson was that? Mm, I can hear him, them say, go with God. Go with God. Awesome. Next one. Kevo, you go. The next one is prepare for what you hope for, even if you cannot see it up ahead. Up ahead. What lesson was that, boys and girls? Prepare by faith. Yeah! The Good next job. one. Yes. Do what God asks, not what you want or what is comfortable for you. Which lesson was that? I can hear them say, step out to please God. Step out to please God. You next. Think in a logical way, like Abraham who thought, if God can give me a son in my old age, God can raise the sun from the dead. Woohoo! Which lesson was that? Ooh, I hear them say, uh -huh. reason that God can. You got it. Next one. Look for evidence and build a strong case of God's faithfulness. Which lesson was that? Kevo, you remember? Yeah. Yes. Judge God to be faithful. Judge God to be faithful. Good job, boys and girls. Well done. Well done. And now, here is the memory verse wrap. So you join in as much as you can and say it along with our team of facilitators. Woo -woo! What is faith? What is faith? It is the confident assurance something what is going to happen. It is a certainty that what we hope for is waiting for us. Even though we cannot see it up ahead, hey. Even though we cannot see it up ahead, hey. Men of God in days of old were famous for their faith. And without faith it is impossible to please God. And without faith it is impossible to please God. So I'm stepping out in faith. 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 Wonderful job, guys. I love that memory verse and I love the way they do it. Don't you love it? You know, here's a fun thing for you to do. In a couple of weeks, maybe two or three weeks, we are going to be reviewing this series. And as you know, during reviews, we love to make it big and have stuff from you guys. So what would be funner than you to learn the rap of this memory verse and video yourself and send it to us. Please be sure to send it as soon as possible. Who knows, if you send it sooner, we might even see it before the day of review. But we want as many as possible because that day of review, we really want to have fun reviewing and seeing everybody's rap. Be sure to dress up, like put on a cool hat or shades or something and then do your rap so you can really look cool, okay? Now, what's today's lesson? Today's lesson is to step out in faith, see your purpose. See your purpose. What is purpose? Purpose is what you are to be and what you are to do. What God has planned for you to do and to be. That's your purpose. Now, I'm going to show you the pictures of some children and I want you to look at those uh, pictures and think with me as I ask you some questions. You may know some of these children, you may not know them, but you look at them and think with me. 
So you see these children there, you see Kanana, she's eight years old. And of course, Muthoni is there. You see Joella is there, Zawadi, nine years old. Uh, you see Joy and Abe. Oh yeah, and there's Lisa and there is uh, David. All these children, you see them there. And here's the question I want you to ask. As you look at them, what makes them ordinary children? Yeah, what makes them ordinary? Uh, for example, their age group, yeah, they are all children. They are not teens, they are not adults, they are all children. They are all the same, they are children. And what origin are they? They are African, yeah, they are all African, Kenyan children. None of them are European, none of them are Asian. And here's another thing that's ordinary about them. They are all in the same stage of life, yeah? In primary school. I don't see any high schoolers here or anyone in university. We'd really be shocked if they were in university. And you know something else? They probably all like about the same things. They like chapo, they like chips, they like ice cream. And man, if you give them a trip to the coast, they'll be so excited. Oh yeah, and they love pizza. Pizza is a big deal with them. These guys are ordinary children. Here's another question. What makes these children unique? Is there anything about these children that's totally unique to them? Yeah, you're right. Every one of them, every single one of them has unique thumbprints. Do you know nobody in the whole world has the same thumbprint as you? And here's another thing. Nobody in the whole world has the same eye pupil as you. Scientists say that your eye pupil is uniquely yours. But does that uniqueness make you extraordinary? Not really, because everyone is ordinary in the sense that they all have a unique thumbprint and a unique eye pupil. What makes you extraordinary? Let me tell you what makes you extraordinary is your purpose. But can you tell that by just looking at their picture? No. Who can tell that you are extraordinary? Probably your parents. You know, parents spend a lot of time looking at our lives and seeing what's really special about us. And more than anyone else, our parents might know what is unique and extraordinary about our lives. Moses' parents saw something extraordinary about Moses and it is from them that we are learning the lesson for today. And that lesson is what? See your purpose. This is Moses. Hey Moses was a descendant of Joseph's brother Levi. Hey. Joseph and his brothers had many children and grandchildren who lived happily in Egypt. Eventually, a new pharaoh came to power who knew nothing of Joseph or what he had done. This pharaoh feared the Israelites because there was a great number of them living in Egypt, so he wanted to put a stop to their prosperity. Pharaoh made the Israelites slaves. He made them work long, hard hours building up Egyptian cities. But his plan didn't work, and the Israelites grew more in number and in strength. Eek. So Pharaoh made a rule that no Israelite boy would be allowed to live in Egypt. This is where Moses' story begins. You see, when Moses was born, his mother saw that he was a special baby. Hmm. And she kept him hidden for three months. But when she could no longer keep him a secret, she made a basket and put him in the Nile River among the reeds. Moses' sister stayed to watch what would happen to her baby brother. And soon the Pharaoh's daughter came to the edge of the river. When she saw the basket, hey. she sent her servant to get it. When she saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, Aww. thinking he must be an Israelite baby who wasn't supposed to live. Then Moses' sister asked the princess if she would like her to find an Israelite woman to take care of the baby. Uh -huh. So Moses' sister went and got her mother. Moses' own mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's house, where the princess adopted him as her son. 
And so, Moses, an Israelite boy who wasn't supposed to live, became the adopted grandson of the Pharaoh and lived in the palace as God prepared him for a great destiny that was only just starting to unfold. What a powerful story of stepping out in faith. Moses was an ordinary looking baby, but his parents saw something else. They saw his purpose, his unique purpose for his life. Purpose is what God wanted him, Moses, to be and to do. So in the face of terrible trouble, Moses' parents wouldn't give up and allow him to be killed. They did everything they could to save his life. They stepped out in faith to save his life. And you know what? Moses' parents were right in what they saw because many years later, when Moses grew up, God used him to deliver and to save his people and lead them out of slavery in Egypt. So what about you? What is unique and extraordinary about you? What is different? That is your purpose. What God wants you to be and to do. God's purpose is like the thumbprint or the pupil of the eye, only you can do it. Yet, it is more than that. God's purpose is what he wants you to be and to do. It sets you apart as extraordinary. When you see God's purpose for your life, you do not give up easily in the face of trouble. You step out in faith, you overcome in faith, you fight in faith because you know you are here for a purpose. Also, don't look at someone else and wish you are like them. God's purpose for you is what makes you different, extraordinary, and unique. Begin to look for and see what God wants you to be. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit every boy and girl. Lord, you created them for a unique purpose, for an extraordinary thing. Father, you have set them apart. Help them, Lord, to begin to see and to look for what you created them to be, your purpose for their life. We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. i